kind of goes back like a, like kind of like a cave or something. All right, yeah, that's a lot better. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the stream. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm working on a custom motorcycle helmet right now. And uh, I'm airbrushing some Deton here. <clears throat> and I have the nose part, the face pretty much done. But I really want to add a lot of detail in here if I can. And really go in between these little cracks, these little crevices right here you see in the teeth. Turn down the pressure a little bit. And that really helps uh, control the airbrush gun and the paint if you turn the pressure down. You work a little slower, but you can get all those little small like grooves and stuff. Amy, hey, uh, I love your work. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Amy. I'm working on a motorcycle hump right now, and I got one more after this, too, so I'm excited, and I'll probably start on that one tomorrow. really cool to work on a lot of fun because it's like a 3d object it's not just like a canvas I'm just painting it gray and shading it in and leaving some darker parts and then leaving some lighter parts on purpose so that gives it more depth So it's not just uh, one exact solid color. I think well, when airbrush guys are beginners, that's a lot of things. That's what they usually do. They make it all one solid color, and they forget that you know you have to look at a lot of reference photos of skull helmets, and uh, I mean skull heads, and it's not it's not just one solid color. There's little kind of shadows and things like that. Cool. And I'll leave that there and then I'll kind of just drag the other side around. Hey, what's going on, Diego? Hey, what's up, Jacqueline? Hey, thanks for checking out the stream. I'm back from like, not streaming for like another like week or two, a month probably. Time just goes by so fast, man. I want to make a little black kind of like crevice crack right here. And then just walk this line up across the entire helmet. And I taper it off and it kind of make it a little smaller as I move it across the helmet. As the, uh, the fracture kind of like breaks. Pull it in, add some little gray. But the helmet's round, so I'll, you know, I'll kind of like have this little round motion. Go in these little kind of half circle kind of movements. I'm so used to even painting faster, but uh, I'm really learning to slow down more. I'm really getting like all the little detail. Alright, that looks cool. And so you have the lower jaw right here. Kind of want to maybe round it out a little more. Because of that, there's a hollow spot in between the jaw. I want to show that. Make some little detailed grooves there. And the side of the skull is actually a little more flat. The top is more round, but the side is a little more flat, so there's a lot more darker planes on the side of the skull than there are on the top. Definitely than there are on the top. And usually painting the sides for me is kind of like the hardest part. 
Because the teeth, you know how teeth look. But the side is... It's not as common, I guess. So it's good to know, like, anatomy and all that stuff. There's some good uh, books on Amazon. I really like this one book. It's called uh, Anatomy for the Artist. And uh, it has, like, the bones, every single one, drawn out. And I really like that. Like, I like using really, like, references and uh, from art books and stuff like that. That's one of them I had in like uh, art school. Back in the day. All right. I'm always making sure I'm not going too heavy. So I don't want to lose that subtle like kind of detail. When you clear coat it, man, that thing looks dope. I really like uh, how it looks at the end once it's all cleared and done. Alright, that's cool. That's done. Let me see if we can add some white highlights on here. Might have to turn the air pressure down a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn the air brush down. But I don't want to mess that up, so I'll say that, I guess, for later. I might even do that off camera. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the stream. Uh, if you're just checking it out, I'm working on a custom motorcycle helmet and I'm putting a skull head on the front of the helmet and then the skull teeth around it. And this is cool, this is the face mask, it pops up. And um, the guy that sent me this helmet is pretty cool. He uh, masked off the area in the middle so it can actually look more like a skull around the entire thing. I think that was pretty cool, cool idea. So like on the crown of the head, I'm just adding a little more of that gray tone. Just like misting it over. Giving it like that texture. And then going over some of the blacks again, just to make them a little deeper building in that color and the detail and it already looks pretty finished but uh, still want to go off camera add some of the white highlights in the teeth I'm gonna turn a little bit so you guys can see what I'm working on <clears throat> and then maybe even like finish more of these skull fractures I don't want to put too many but I do want to show the uh, the kind of like curve of the he the head, and it's kind of like a way to do that by adding some of these lines. There, it's cool. Here's the back. And I make sure I don't really paint over that DOT symbol because uh, you need that to have uh, official helmets to ride. Which I'm always really careful not to go over that. Add some cool shadows by the kind of top of the air vents. The back air vents. That's what it is. All right, let me continue this crack right here real fast.
and then blend it in this no some more of that black and I'm still curving the airbrush across the entire helmet just keeping that movement uh, of making that seam look and look rounded so it doesn't look flat so it gives it that more dimension and everything And every time I paint a helmet, I'm always adding some little thing that I'm doing different to make it a little better. And I really like challenging, like challenge, the challenge of doing doing that. You know, they're not all the same. I kind of like making them a little different, if I can. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for checking out the channel. I appreciate it. Uh, if you're just checking uh, out the channel, I'm working on a custom motorcycle helmet, and the entire set the lights uh, face is a. Uh, the teeth right here, you blend that in. I have the nose and it's kind of going over the, uh, the shield a little bit and it's taped in the middle so you can see out the visor still. So the guy that sends it to me taped the middle, which is a pretty cool idea. And then, uh, you know, I'm adding the eyes around it so you can still see, but have like more of the helmet look like a skull. And adding a little kind of shadow on the side of the teeth. And then get like all the little parts underneath. I really check the helmet as much as I can to get these little parts. So it's fully painted, the sides, all that. So it's completely different, you know, helmet pretty much it looks like when it's done. Kind of transform it, man. Dragging down the, the brush, turn down the pressure a little bit. And this is where like the, the bone of the teeth kind of go up. I did some kind of rounded and some pointy. I don't know, I always like how it looks when the teeth are kind of like pointed. Looks more like fierce or whatever. But you can't make them too like that because then it looks like an animal. <sighs> Alright guys, thanks for checking out the stream. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to have some more streams coming along and uh, get the channel going more every Thursday around 9 o'clock. If I can, the best I can. <clears throat> so here's the finished helmets. Well, it's not finished yet, but here's most of it done. Just have to fill in some black right here, add some white highlights across the cracks but overall I'm really happy it looks really cool like cool skull and uh, you know ready to once it's clear coated to ride and uh, you know be out there on the road all right guys thanks for checking out the stream uh, hey what's up Fred I'm gonna get my bike one done oh yeah it's cool man just uh, DM me and uh, send me all the d uh, details and ideas I can make some dope. All right.